And I'm just wondering now, beginning of the season, could you ever have seen anything like what we've seen out of them so far during the regular season? No, that was the topic of conversation back in September. What is this Bruins team going to be? And actually, what is it even going to look like? I mean, it took a while before they started to put that team together and construct the team. Needed an answer from Bergeron. Was Krejci coming back? You had three guys on the shelf. Uh, you know, all three very important, but even more so when you start talking about Brad Marshall and Charlie McAvoy, along with Matt Grizzly, who's had a terrific year, too. So, uh, And you had a new coach. So were you going to be able to improve on a 51-win, 107-point season that they had the year before? And I think everybody thought probably not. I think people thought that they certainly had enough talent and enough uh, structure and enough you know experience to be a playoff team. But to see them run the table the way they've done this year, no one, no one expected that or predicted that. So, Brick, where are they in terms of being at full strength health-wise going into the playoffs? Obviously, we know fully loaded. They're a weapon tonight. It sounds like no Krejci, Hall still, uh, you know, hurt a little bit. Where, where are, Where's the whole team in terms of injury status? Yeah, I don't know Derek Forbert's status right now. Uh, what I understand is that he will be ready come playoff time. Uh, I've been to practice, obviously, the last week and a half to see the progression of Taylor Hall, of Nick Foligno. Got to get an idea where they're at. I know that uh, Hall was long-term IR, and maybe there's some salary cap in, 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 you know, issues there that they got to work out if he's going to come back and play in the lineup. But uh, I know they had to recall Oscar Steen because Krejci is not going to play tonight, as you pointed out. Hall not ready to go just yet. But you know, on my observation of practice, uh, both players, Felino's still in a non-contact jersey, but Hall took full. He was full in practice yesterday. Looked like he was getting ready to, to maybe be in the lineup tonight, if not Saturday or Sunday. They have another back-to-back on the weekends. They finished the season with four of those. Uh, that being said, uh, yeah, my my expectation is between now and then, barring any further injury to any current player that's healthy and contributing right now, that they will be completely 100% healthy, ready to go come game 83. And just the chemistry uh, between uh, Swayman and, and the year Allmark is having and just seemed every time we had a goaltender conversation, there was only really two goalies that, anyone ever talked about Vasilevsky and Shesterkin and you know we've seen Sorokin come up uh, quickly this season and Allmark is he getting all of the love that he deserves or does he deserve to be the guy that says hey just show us what you can do in the playoffs now yeah, I mean, the concern for you know, Bruins Nation, those that think the sky's falling, you know, they've only won the one cup in 50 years. So uh, when it comes to postseason, they expect bad news. So they point to the lack of playoff experience and the lack of playoff success when they look at this great goaltending tandem instead of just looking at the body of work this year and where they are in their careers and where they are, you know, in terms of the level of play and you know, you talked about the team being a real surprise. I think Linus Olmach was a bit of a surprise how well he's played right from game one. You know, it's been a different guy in net. He's let the game come to him more. He's not chasing the play. He's not out of position. His rebound control has been excellent. He's been square when there's been second and third opportunities. His ability to handle the puck has been very good. His confidence, obviously, sky high. I mean, what a night when he scored the goal in Vancouver. That was a big celebration. Love the fact that he went by the bench for the high five. That was pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, just his ability, you know, they both want the net and that's the thing you like about them. They're both hungry. They're both competitive, but they understand that this is a tandem. What's best for the team. Who's going to play, who gives us the best opportunity. And they're willing to go along with that. They both want to play. They both want to be the number one. They both want to play in the playoffs, but it doesn't get in the way of the ultimate goal. And I think that's what everybody appreciates about these two guys.